From the 2013 International CES in Las Vegas, this is another Into Tomorrow ITTV special report. So uh, what you're looking at here is the ultra high definition TV. This particular one here is 110 inches. That's actually nine feet across. It is the largest in the world, uh, ultra high definition. It has eight million pixels. It's four times as many as a typical LED TV. Now, who's your typical customer that would buy something like this? It's anybody who really wants to be future proof. So we're expecting as TVs get bigger and bigger and bigger, traditional 1080p, the pixels are getting bigger and bigger too. So when you get up to sizes like this, you need those smaller pixels in order to maintain high pixel density and really no jaggies and high resolution. So anybody wants to be ready for ultra high definition content in the future is going to want this TV now. Going to be ready for that. Now there's been talk also about uh, 6K and uh, even above that. So with this future proof with a size TV like this that it could uh, show 6K? Well, I mean, it'll be compatible with those resolutions if you can downsample them to 4K. But, I mean, right now, the industry has standardized around this sort of, you know, ultra high definition is officially 4K. So that's what we're focusing on. Now, it's an interesting stand, something like we've never really seen before. How did this design come about? OK, so the stand is really actually completely unique, as you can see. Um, there's a couple of things that are interesting about it. One of them is that we really wanted the TV to be off the floor. And we really wanted it to be able to, to sort of have that space below it so it looks like it's floating. And the other thing that's really special about it is we have speakers built into the stand. There's actually uh, um, 110 watts of sound built in. There's an array of speakers all around the stand. Because you want a clean look and you don't want to have to have separate speakers. It's all built into the stand. So the black uh, felt that you see there on the stands, on the base and on the sides, that's where the speakers are? It's all around sides, top, bottom, to give you that immersive experience, because you have an immersive image, you want to have immersive audio as well. 